let's get into it. Honestly, the amount of beatings that happens on this show, if you don't get punched at least once every two episodes in this show, you're not a main cast member. That's why Kiara doesn't have much of a role because she hasn't gotten punched yet. If her and Sarah end up fighting, then she could be considered like a main cast. Anywho, let's get into it. There are only three kinds of relationships in the animal kingdom. The first is commensalism. Oh, this one he was falling. Wow, didn't see that happening. The parasitic. Don't trust the dad. Don't trust oh, no, him. Kid. It's not my home. So if I show up in your room in the middle of the night, you just on me alone. Then. Sarah. Did you break up with Topper yet? Because I don't like this. Please be nice. I'll be nice. Let's see what he about to say. I'm sorry, but I just have to ask. You're not chasing after Pasigo like your old man, are you, Chavi? Oh, interesting. I still don't trust the man. I don't trust the dad because he stole the compass. How did you get the compass? Did the sheriff give it to you? Oh my gosh. I cannot stand Rafe, bro. Cokehead. I hope this guy beats you up. You ain't got my money, but you got all this nice shit. Right. Hmm? Right. No, I do it. Cause we had a golf club in his hand. Because we had a golf club in his hand. He was real bold with it. When he had a golf club and he had Topper by his side, he was bold. So go ahead. Consider this shit right here your down payment. He was messing with Pope. Seemingly the weakest, wimpiest one out of the group. And you, you notice he ain't never messed with nobody when he was by himself. We need to look for the wheat near the water, like it said in Denmark's letter. What kind of water? Like pond water? <laughs> Bong water? Just water. Every water source. You know, we had a good thing going. And then you decided to rope in Barbie. Now Girl. the trail's going dry. Exactly. Well, I didn't want to tell you about that. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. What the hell's the deal? What's going on with you two? Exactly. I'm over this. I'm so over Kiara and her problem with Sarah. I don't care. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Hey. Hey. All right. Where's no. your proof? <laughs> well, she got slapped. So she's now a main cast member. Are right, there so many mosquitoes in Right, there's water around. The mosquitoes hang around water. Where's the water? It's a well. The home was built on top of a well. Well, well, well. That's a good dad joke. <laughs> oh my gosh, Topper. Ugh. Midsummer's was supposed to be our, our coming out party. That was supposed to be something special, what is it? right? Coming out party. I can't be with you. Yeah. Okay. Not finally. Last night. Finally, get it done. I've been waiting for y'all to break up since like the first episode. You're a slut. You know that? You're a slut. Hey, watch your mouth when you talk. Right, get out of my house. Ooh. Dad. Did we say dad was from the streets? Dang. Okay, finally. Done with Topper. Yeah, she cheated. Yeah, Topper, you are a douchebag. Need to happen a long time ago. Is it okay? Yeah, of course. Right? No, no. I mean, with the others. Yes, everything's fine. John B. Let me get to my nerves. No, everything's not fine. No effing way. You brought her here, so what, she's in on this now? All I care about is her cut comes out of your share. You know, right. We're not splitting this five ways. This was a four-way split. Told him what, exactly? That you're a liar? No, that you're a shit-talking bitch. Oh, Kiara. yeah? What if I ever lied to you I for, like, a month? Like, Usually I like beef, but this is annoying. <laughs> Usually I like beef. That's so toxic. Usually I like beef and drama, but I'm annoyed with this. Like, I'm annoyed. She's your girlfriend now? John B's annoying me in this situation because, like... You said you were using me? No. Yeah. Yeah, you did. He's a liar! Honestly, if I was Kiara, maybe I would be mad, but I don't care as long as she's not getting part of my cut, like JJ said. She don't need the money anyways. You're just along for the ride. We need the money. Oh, daddy's here. They secrete fluid from their eyes. I maybe not compare my feelings to secretion. What is the tea here? What is the tea? What are you doing? I'm trying to comfort you. Aren't we friends? I know, Pope has something different in mind. <laughs> I mean, freshman year was my first year at the Cook Academy. You know how intimidating that is? Here we go. And just as I'm about to slip my wrist, the queen asks me if I want to go save baby sea turtles. Where's this going? We waited for the hatch and we kept the seagulls off so that the turtles could get to the water. So what she do, kill the baby turtles? What, what, what is it? And then she turned on me like she does with everyone. I'm not doing this with her. Honestly, I feel like we've been friends for so long. John B should at least consider. I know who 
white juice. What? Consider what she, we supposed to be best friends. You know what I mean? Jumpy's getting on my nerves. He getting on my last. I've got a plan. You two shitheads are going to help me out. Jumpy's getting on my last. My last. Oh, he paying him off? I'm born 19 years old, and you out here taking care of him like he just some little baby ass bitch, huh? I mean, 19 is like the new 16. <laughs> Who? Don't tell me this is where Rafe get it from. Rafe, do not be looking crazy like that because you saw your dad beating on some man like you didn't beat on Pope. I don't got time for you. I don't like Rafe. I don't like Rafe. There's nothing that's going to make me like Rafe. Because you're a liar and you're a thief and you cannot be trusted. And I can't have you in my house, son. Well, you're 19 years old. Where do you want me to go? Figure it out, sir. You had opportunity dad. to stay at your dad's house, your parents' house, fed, roof over your head, water, a bath, and you ruined it by lying, stealing, doing Ooh. coke. I don't feel bad. Maybe Kiara's gonna get more attention. Cause the first few episodes, she was just kinda in the background for me. Did you check the plugs? This is part of Jambi's plan. Really? What? Why is this annoying me to my core? Back here! This is so annoying, bro. You gonna sit here and leave? <laughs> I'd be so annoyed. Why'd you do it? Do what? We were best friends. And the next thing I know, I'm watching your birthday party happen from Instagram. You didn't get invited to a party? You invited everybody except me. And then you told everybody I was the reason that the party got busted. You were my best friend and then you ghosted me and I don't even know why. When people get close to me, I feel trapped and I bail. So is that what happened with Topper? I'm really sorry. What does this have to do with what Kiara said? With every get she's going to try to take? I don't get it. I think there's a chance that we could be okay again. I mean, girl, if that's your problem, you getting close to someone and then dipping... I don't really want to be. I don't want. I'm not trying to chill with you. <laughs> be wishy washy, flip floppity. Girl, bye. Go find somebody else to flip flop on. I'm not about to sit here and do that again. If it was me personally, and then you with John B, like, how am I supposed to know you're not going to do this to my best friend now? You are not pleading your case or making it well at all. Promise me that you won't bail on John B. Right. So she bailed on top of it, right? I don't get. Kiara was like, whatever we get, she's going to try to take. What does that have to do with her not inviting you to her birthday party? Also, I'm sorry I called the cops. <laughs> you did call the cops? Petty. <laughs> you should have invited me. <laughs> she, she's petty for that, period. <laughs> Don't give them the satisfaction of thinking this works. Right. Not. Come on, come on, yeah. girls! See, one thing I will not do is give them any type of satisfaction in this situation. You guys ready to Jackson Loop? I like Kiara. <laughs> I like her, her petty attitude. I'm glad we're getting more. Watch me. Crane. Chops people into pieces. She believes that, but she's like, what, 85? Yeah, something like that. She's probably barely still kicking. <laughs> right, 85? We can I'll take her. <laughs> we can take an 85 year old woman. <laughs> that is not funny. I want to go on the limb and say they don't find the gold. Or if they do, they won't be able to keep it. And y'all kids don't wear gloves. If this woman was to accidentally die and they come sweep the house, y'all fingerprints are everywhere. Oh. oh, okay, you're gonna die first for sure. We're banking on like them old pipes to hold him up. All right, it's your funeral, John B. You already fell from a tower. And you have on chucks. Oh my gosh, y'all need to know how to prepare for the occasion. Is she blind? That is so creepy. Keep going slow. Okay, we're gonna start paying you out again. Right? Shut up. Y'all don't know how to whisper, and I told y'all this last time. No, that's not a cane. That's one of them things from the fireplace. She ready to take off a head or two she got to. Here we go. Oh my goodness. I hope you have all your shots, sir. Yo. What does it smell like? Yo. Body. Bodies. Bones. Is it inside the bricks? This is literally like, don't breathe. Here's Leon. Okay. I've been waiting all night. Ah! I'm sorry, she scared me. She scared the heck out of me just now. No, it, that's poop, bro. Ah! 
Is it from your dad? I did it, dad. Oh. <laughs> I know dad was gonna pop up. Shut it, shut it. I found a girl! No way. No way. He didn't say Sarah. <laughs> She's not getting a cut. Are you gonna leave John B down there to fend for himself? That old lady was ready for anything. Did you get the gold or not? Is that the gold? No, it's not. <laughs> Sarah, I hope Sarah's not chanting full kook. She's already full kook. I am so happy for these guys. But one little brick? How much is that worth? Okay. Hey, hey, hey. We found the gold. I guess we gotta go back and get some more, right? Okay. We're gonna go. We're gonna melt down the bricks so they're not traceable. We're gonna take it to the pawn shop. And then after that, we're gonna pay for JJ's restitution. 600. 600. No! Million dollars. <laughs> what have I been saying? about these idiots talking so loudly especially that idiot john b yeah you're the you're the gap hook guy you're the gap i knew i didn't trust sarah's dad what are you two plotting uh what are you plotting bro what did i say about these two fools especially these these two because they've been getting overheard for the longest they don't no one knows how to shut up and talk in code okay yeah why do you want the gold? Aren't you already rich? Are you going broke? Or do you not want the gold? I mean, there's no way he doesn't want the gold. Who, who wouldn't want the gold? You can't pawn this if there's a giant weed symbol on it. But something's gonna happen. This is not gonna go smoothly, especially with that dad lurking. How did I get this job anyway? Because you're the best liar. They don't need to be asking no questions. I got the gold, give me the cash. Because I'm about to blow your mind. Does she have that much money to sell? Almost seven pounds. You seven ounces? That's him. This is worth 140 at least. Oh, well, sweetie, you on a pawn shop. 70. Half price. Nah, we need to and take it somewhere uh, else. I don't ask questions about where you got this. You were asking too many questions already, ma'am. Snag, I don't have that much denominated. Not I knew it, bro. I knew they wouldn't have no money like that at the pawn. Where's this warehouse? Cops out here? God. Why don't I just go ahead and see them hands up in the air right now? Really? Man, Sarah's dad should have pummeled you into a pulp. Did the old woman plot this? Just shut up, guys. That old bat shank. Exactly. You can't take it to no grimy pawn shop. Don't be a hero, man. Be a hero, John B. You got, um, plot armor. Don't move your goddamn heads, okay? Yeah, you wasn't counting. You wasn't counting bodies, were you? You're stupid. You're not I'm smart. Not I got the gold. Come on, Pope. <laughs> All right, Sarah. Daddy didn't tell you something. Go see where this son of a bitch lives. In the slums. He knows who we are. JJ, we got the gold back. Let's just go. If you keep coming down this road, you're gonna end up just like your dad. Go. You watch your mouth, man. Sore spot, sensitive spot. So that's what we're doing now? We're robbing drug dealers? This very guy's gonna find out. Okay, this is not the time to start wilding out. How'd you guys like having a gun pulled on you? Okay, JJ, you put the gun out on somebody else too. Not only that. You feel like a tough guy? Huh? Ooh, he is wildin' right now. He is unhinged, bro. But back to what I had to say. Y'all broke into an old woman's house last night. Y'all already down this road. Stealing from a drug dealer, y'all was nothing but two steps away from that. Y'all don't want to steal from a drug dealer, but you're going to break into some old woman's house and now it's a problem? Girl, y'all need to keep the same energy. At least JJ keeps the same energy. Oh, yeah, JJ, he be going back and forth. At like one point, he's bold and tough. The next point, he's scared. And now he's a bold and I don't know. We're sick of your shit. I took the fall for you, man. You know how much money I owe because of you? I'm going to pay you back. And I didn't even ask you to do that. I just We ain't going to pay him back, Pope. We ain't going to pay him back. We ain't going to pay him back 30K. When? In about 30 years? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Go off. Right, go solo dodo. Cause they all sitting here hypocritical. All sitting here hypocritical, judgmental. Y'all been doing grimy, illegal stuff since the beginning, even without JJ. And now JJ stealing from a drug dealer and now it's too much. Stealing from an old woman, fine. Drug dealer, now we got a problem. Now, obviously it wasn't an old woman's gold, but at the end of the day, you broke into her house. Am I just some little bitch? Is that what your family looks at me like? Yeah. Enlighten me. Enlighten me. He's using words like enlighten me now. Now he's all innocent talking to Barry. Oh God, you're not still chasing lost treasure, are you? So you chasing it also? This close, baby. To what? Yeah. Yeah. 
You want even more money? Of course. That's not even a question. Most people want even more money. But you willing to kill people for it, though? I, I don't even want to know. You did it. <laughs> I'll grant you that. You did it. He doesn't love you. This does not make him love you. Sales still on at Guffey's and Mako's. They're practically giving them away. Uh. Dad, that's for the restitution. And they going to the cops. Dad, you got something to say? I hate this. I hate this for JJ. You should have been smarter about that. I would have broke the screen door or something. <laughs> right, I'm saying I would have jumped out the screen door. It was kind of scary. Well, guess what now? Don't do it, 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 don't do it. I'm scared of you anymore. Ain't gonna punk that boy forever. Oh shit, that's race. Y'all couldn't hide from nobody if y'all wanted to. Everyone knows about this little raggedy van y'all driving around in. You stole from him, all right? What do you think he's gonna do to you? I'm not, I'm not the one corrupting this girl from a brother. From a prominent family getting her involved. In from a prominent family. I know I'm the one that cares about her, not you. Topper Lee, this is pathetic. This is sad. All you do is come around here to talk about Sarah. Get a life. Go try to make your mama proud. You're better than this, Sarah. Topper, I don't need no lecture from you. What the hell? What did you do, JJ? I got a jet going straight in my butt right now. This is what you did with the money? What about the restitution? Yeah, you spent all the money in one day. This is an irresponsible use of that money, JJ. You know you have bigger things to handle. Guys, you only live once, right? He's obviously going through something. He's obviously drunk. You could have paid for restitution. Right. To any charity. Or better yet, you I'm not giving it to no, I mean, well. <laughs> if I was in his situation, I'm not giving it to no charity. I am the charity. I got a hot truck. Look at the bruises on him. They don't know his dad beats him. <laughs> I can't take him anymore. This is too much. Oh, poor babe. I said we go south. Swansboro home. It'll be just you and me down there. Are you gonna try to kill him? Nah, uh, if he does try to kill him, it'd be too obvious that it was him. That means a lot to me. Trust. It's trust. Trust goes both ways. Are you being dishonest? Ward, I'm not gonna put anything past this man. He killed two men with a gaff hook. 150 years people have been looking for that goddamn gold. None of them could find it. You found it. You're 16 years old. How are you gonna transport that gold? How are you gonna turn that into something that is in your bank account? Something that you can... So you want in? Right now. You need me. You're way over your head. Oh. You need me. There it is. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. All you gotta just trust me. I don't trust you. I don't. What do you say? I say I don't trust you. I don't know what you're talking about. Ooh. No gold for Daddy Ward. <laughs> Man, but he's right. He he raised a good point. He raises a good point. You're already having trouble pawning the seven pound piece. And he has more weight. He has more pull. No one's going to question this rich man about where he got gold from. They might. The map of Tannehill. What, what did you just say? The other thing. Sarah. Oh, the compass. He has the compass. Ooh. Redfield was the last message my father left before he disappeared. Trust Ward. What about Trust Ward? I can see that you do. What about Trust Ward? He gonna do something. Do not turn your back on this. Oh, he good. He down there still. But I said, do not turn your back on this man. He's a murderer. Do not turn your back on him. Don't turn your back on him. We already seen what he can do. We already know his strength lies. We already know how crazy he is. We already know that he's a murderer. Oh my gosh, John B is over. All this for some money war as if you're not rich and on your own personal yacht? Bro. Greed is really, it's a powerful drug, bro. Greed is a powerful drug. What you need the money for? You're not going broke. Are they going broke? No. So you, what, you, what you need the gold so badly for, bro? Greed is a hell of a drug. Get back, John B. Get back. Oh my gosh, he's insane. It was your father. Hello. This man is crazy. What do you think you're gonna do? Do you think you're gonna get away with this? She's literally dating your daughter. This is so ghetto. I just want to know why. 
what's all this about? Just the gold? I just feel like it's a bit extreme just because he wants gold. Good, all you did was help me. You gonna kill yourself and try to frame John B? Uh, he's sick. He's sick. What are you trying to do to poor John B? He's already going through it. I came home early from work to find Scooter talking to Ward. I didn't mean to hurt him. I didn't mean anything to happen to him. So you didn't mean to hurt nobody? He's crazy. He's been crazy. It's a 50-50 thing. It's not 50-50. I never agreed to that. I spent Ooh. 20 years on this. Ward, you just got involved. Ooh. 20%. It's my research. In 20 years, you didn't find a goddamn thing. I knew you would do this. You've always been greedy, Ward. I'm not He's greedy, but 20% is kind of low. Oh. Ooh. No, don't tell me he killed him. You'll never find it. Don't tell me you killed John B's dad and you tried to kill him too. What happened? What do you mean what happened? Did you um glitch there there for a second? Did you uh black out for five seconds? Do we need to play the take back? All of this literally goes back to Sarah's dad. Oh, that man is dead. This man is out here looking for his dad with the hopes that he's lost that scene, he's returning, and he's actually dead because this bozo killed him. So Ward sent my husband out into that storm. Scooter did find something out there, not what he expected. A compass. So he where's that body now? When Moore dumped him. Really? He made it to shore? Ward is... Ward has to go. Jail is not enough. Prison is not enough. He needs to be dead. Executed. Off with his head. I should have told you a long time ago. Yeah, you should have told that man. You can't say anything. He's dangerous. He's capable of anything. Don't, don't care about Shut him. up, girl. You are withholding information. So I'm trying to take care of this. He runs off. He steals my jet ski. He's out there. God knows where. Let's write it up. In the meantime, you go home. Don't they have to have proof and evidence of this? You can't just take someone's word right is that what write up means we're just gonna look into it because we're not gonna just believe him she doesn't believe him she doesn't believe him i got my scholarship interview tomorrow morning we gotta get this done oh that scholarship is still a thing pope john b just what do you need the gun for no. man? talk to us john b chill he killed my dad john b why do you have a gun did you tell your dad about the gold about the gold no you told him something no, of course not. Then how do you know <laughs> he overheard y'all talking wait what didn't you tell him about that he said you told him everything and that's why at the hospital if not if that wasn't when he found out then he found out when y'all were talking loud as heck john b this is the same situation that happened earlier your dad killed my father Nobody knows what happened. She's not going to believe except this. For Scooter Grub, okay? He tried to kill he me. He wouldn't hurt anyone. He killed my father. No, I don't. I don't believe you. I mean, it's it's reasonable that she doesn't believe him. No one wants to believe that their dad's a murderer. And the more I try to calm him down, the angrier he gets. Till finally he attacks me. That don't even sound like John B. Do that. You don't. Exactly. Of the druthers, you want to go out there now? Let's go. Stop. Right please, now. Please stop. Right. Stop screaming. You want me to believe you? This is too, like, too much. You sound like you're guilty. New pocket listing. 40 acres on figure eight. He's going to figure it out. He can't win in the end. I refuse to accept him winning in the end. We need to go get the goal before he go gets it. Let's go home. Wait. What? Uh, okay. Obviously, Mr. Cameron is fine. Plus, I have the biggest, most important moment of my life in six hours. Guys, I haven't been home in three days. My dad's been put on my shit on the street by now. Right, I mean, just get home. We can figure this out later. You're just gonna bail? You're just gonna walk away? Where, what are we supposed to do? Stay up all night to go look for this man? Okay, well, what about John B? Why is it always about John B? This is about friendship. Bring it. And it's like three o'clock in the morning. Hey, yo, 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 cut it out, all right? If I'm the one mediating, we've hit rock bottom. That's funny. Right, but Kiara kind of annoying sometimes. Like, girl, pogues for life, but also, I got a life outside the pogues. I got responsibilities and stuff I got to do in the morning. You vanished for, for three days. And your mama is crying for two of them. It's all right. Hell no, nah, it ain't all right. I feel that. 
Like, Kiara's annoying. Judging that man for wanting to go back home after being missing for three days. Even with the Sarah situation, like, everybody's not mad at Sarah like you. Right, this man out here sleep. Where he at? He out here sleep on some dock somewhere. We gonna go run around looking for John B? And honestly, this should be the first place y'all look. Where the gold is at? I know John was at a very crazy mental state last night after finding about, out about his dad. But that would have been the first place I went. Knowing how grimy this man is. I wasn't gonna try to go kill him and go confront Sarah. Bro, this show just, ugh. It really knows how to annoy me. I guess this will happen when you're working with a bunch of teenagers who lack a few brain cells. Brother. We haven't seen little sis in a while. Wait, they're, they're going to the Bahama house? For yeah, what? Okay. Bah. Hey, shut up! Easy, I told you to shut up, okay? Don't tell me to shut up. My life savings. Rape is crazy. Yeah, pick it up. Like the trash you are. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my shit together, okay? You know, like real tight. Well, why don't you stop snorting the coke, and then maybe we can talk about that. And how have you been keeping busy all summer? We were looking for an old shipwreck. Keeping it honest. And did you find it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And if so, where is the gold? Like I'm gonna tell y'all. It was too heavy. Excuse me. The shit was too heavy, that's why I sunk. But but I don't have a lot of time. And, and then I have information that is tactical. Say it! Because it was too heavy, it needed a longer landing ship to take off. Hey. Oh. Why would Cameron need a longer airship to take off? He, he has to go. It be so heavy to weigh it down. We're gonna steal that shit back. Right. That was my fault. And he knows that. Okay. But what choice did you have for it? So the wife knows? Okay, well, so don't worry about it. like husband, like wife. Baby, you did it. It's over. I want both of y'all to go to jail. <laughs> He's probably willing to kill even his daughter if he has to. Sarah! He's trying to kill her? What are you trying to do? You trying to get us boy. killed? No. You don't have no right to talk about killing anybody and getting anyone killed. That is your area of expertise. Tess. That's the sheriff. He, she's on our side, right? Susan, I told you, he lost his goddamn mind. You're under arrest. On your head. She's talking to you, Ward. <laughs> Period. Are you kidding me, Put your hands on your head. Turn around. Get on the ground. Drop to your knees. Thank you. He about to flip. He's about to flip. She's going to die. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Right. Because he killed one, two... Rafe, are you kidding me? What did you do? Rafe, you freaking cocaine crazy bozo of a I saved you. Rafe needs to be put in rehab. He needs to never walk the earth again under the influence. Someone really said that, oh, Rafe, you'll understand Rafe later. How? When? Where? And why? Did he beat Pope with a golf club? He just killed the sheriff. I don't want to, you know, pull the race car, but his, <laughs> his attacks have been to the only black people on the show. And you want to say, oh, he has a little black friend, please. It's only a matter of time. The only person he's scared of is that little Mexican dude. I am done, bro. Rafe, I really... <laughs> Rafe. Rafe is so annoying. Bro, this entire family is trash. The only one who's decent is Sarah. Even the mom is trash. Where are you going? Huh? Rafe needs to be put down. Rafe needs to be put down. You're just gonna start shooting at people? You're crazy. Why did you do it? She had the hammer back, you know that, right? No. She was gonna blow his head off. No, she was a No, she wasn't, you bozo. You're an idiot. Okay, she was gonna kill him. You're literally psychotic. Why would she kill him? She's a cop. Huh. 
that's a whole nother story. But she was literally arresting him. She was doing her job, you idiot. I've had it with your bullshit, Sarah, okay? You need to focus, you understand me? Do you realize what you've done? You literally shot a cop. You're going to prison. You're going to prison. I saved that. You're going to prison, though. Go write it. Go, go decorate that on your prison cell walls. I saved that. How about that? I'm the problem solver in this family, okay? <laughs> All you did was start more problems. I said it before and I say it again. The kooks are the most annoying characters on the show. Fuck! Let it out. Sometimes you gotta let it out. I lost my scholarship. I walked out in the middle of the interview. You did that for us. No, for nothing. Oh. I'm here for your poem. I mean, like. Welcome to my world. Okay? It's not the end. J JJ, everybody don't want to be part of your uh, miserable world. No offense, but like, um, it's not the end. There's other scholarship opportunities. Are you a senior? It's, it's not over. <laughs> She's probably gonna die, it's too late. This is not the ambulance, these are just more officers. Who shot her? You see the goddamn van? Who the hell you think did it? <laughs> gonna protect your crackhead, son. Wait, that's not their real mom, right? Excuse me, ma'am. This is not a good time, kid. I know who shot the sheriff. There's so many witnesses. Even if they don't believe John B, Sarah was there also. She knows. Ward's gonna lie. Rave's gonna lie. Sarah has to choose. She has to make a choice if she's gonna turn in her brother. Oh, you're not the look out for John B. Weapon. Kid, the car! He will make his dad proud so bad. Okay. I do not feel bad for Rafe at all. I can see the parallels between him and JJ. They both kind of want to like. Stop it! What? I don't need your help right Punch now. Punch him in I the didn't face. Need it then. I don't need it now. I just need to think. So please go clean up. Right, you ruining stuff. I'm not on Ward's side, but like you're ruining things uh, for both sides, for both parties. You're an unnecessary third party who's making things. You're making things a bigger mess than it already is. You were in trouble, and I was protecting you. <laughs> Me. Dad. Rafe. <sighs> Sarah. I don't know why he's like this, why he wants to seek his father's approval so badly. I'm not sure what their relationship is like or why it got to this point. I don't want to invalidate anyone's problems or anything like that, but like, how do you even get to this point? The first thing we got to do is light this place up. Set up patrols from figure eight. You don't need to be making any orders. You can barely even speak. You're emotional right now. Yeah, all the emotional right now. Y'all don't need to be doing anything. He way. shot her. Listen to me, sweetheart. You grow up in this world thinking there is good and there's evil, and that's how it should be because that's helpful when you're young. We need some kind of structure. Nothing you're gonna say is justifying whatever you're, whatever you did. Oh my goodness, he locked her in the room. Yeah, well, I don't think he's gonna be by anytime soon to pick it up. So why? They didn't tell you. Nobody tells me anything. Do the men in this family just live without remorse? So John B. They live with no remorse. Killed Sheriff Peterkin. They live a life of just lying through their teeth. I'm not joking. Like this isn't a game. I don't know why. I don't know why you're yeah. crying, okay? Look at me. I saw it with my own two eyes, alright? He shot her. And then you know what he did? He has anger problems. And especially to his like his 13-year-old sister, like, uh, you will be disowned as my brother. John B has burned so many calories in this episode. This man has been running almost the entire day from last night until now. Oh my goodness, not him. No, 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 no. You need to get out of my house right Just now, man. To me, please. I didn't do it. Get out, John B, please. You need to get the hell out of my house right now. Hey! Right, get out. Why are you chasing him? You just told him to get out. Kels? He has a name. Kills. Oh my goodness. He thinks he <laughs> he's caught the killer. I love you, Kate. What? I love you. I'm in love with you. <laughs> You're wasted. No, I no, he's not. He's real. I'm trying to tell you how Pope. I feel about you. I'm so this is not this is, it's always terrible timing with these guys. Thank you for saying. But it's look, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Why not? No, it's not gonna happen. I know that that's really hard to hear right now, but we don't have time for this. And this is a really bad place to do it. I knew it was gonna happen. She didn't seem interested in Pope at all. But all for the plan. <laughs> Pope! Aww. His little love bubble burst. Dang. 
That was kind of a rough way to let him down. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> and I couldn't believe who I got down the hall, bro. Yo, get up, man. Come on. Topper being here is the worst person to be here. Knock, knock. Hey, hey. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think so, bitch. We're this is funny. You have to say something, Sarah. We need a statement, Sarah. Sarah? Not a window high five. Yeah, surprise. Um, hey, Top. It's John B. <laughs> hey, Top. Hey. <laughs> Just cut the bullshit, all right? Topper, you like, owe me one. You owe me one. You pushed me off of a tower. You knew we were boyfriend and girlfriend, right? Yeah. Yeah, my bad. Not my bad. Um, I, I had another question. Do you love her? Did you fuck her? Oh. Hmm? That's what he thinking about. Hey, look, man, yes. Yeah, we, we did Lie. it. Lie. Deny, deny, deny. Did JJ not teach you anything? You no, either man. love her or you don't, man. Do you I, don't, I don't know, Top. It's... Okay, what, what does it feel like? Huh? What, what does it feel like when you're with her? Does she make you crazy? Topper, what is up with this line of questioning? Topper. I literally have police chasing me, and you want to ask me about my relationship with Sarah? This is exactly what I said, whatever episode, like, it's his life revolved around Sarah. I wouldn't mind seeing development with Topper's character. Like, it's like we're in a movie sometimes. I can't. It's like you're in a fucking movie. I, That's not love. Oh my. What is love then, Topper, since you know so much? Since you got your degree, and you know every thing. Since you know so much. I wouldn't mind Topper getting development. I can't see it for Rafe, and I don't even want it for Rafe. I'm in love, man. <laughs> Where has this conversation gone? I'm in love. Oh my goodness. Okay, you're in love. That's great. Cops are on their way. Hope you enjoyed it. Topper, this is your chance for redemption. Because honestly, besides the fact that he's tried to kill multiple people, <laughs> he didn't actually kill anyone. They were fighting. It got a little rough. Whatever. But Rafe... Rafe is literally unhinged. He needs help. Hey, officer, we got your guy. I got him locked up in my house. I got him trapped in my, in my laundry room. What? Kels is a snitch, bro. Kels is a snitch. Copper's a snitch. Rafe's a drug Ooh. addict. Like, what do the cooks have going for themselves besides money? Parents got him pinned in there. So that was all me. Uh, but I got yeah, that was all me. <laughs> Man. Why is Rafe here? Oh my gosh. What a misunderstanding, bro. Like, everyone thinks it's you. Topper is... There's so many times where Topper could have had, like, some care development, some growth, some redemption. But I guess maybe it's too soon in the show for that. He could have spoke up for Pope. He didn't do that. He could let John B out. Especially after the tower situation. He didn't do that. Hey, we're back here, sir. Bro, Topper is an a-hole for real. Bro, he's a douchebag. Like... <laughs> I got it from your side. No mercy, all right? I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. Shoot. He slipped out the bed in the laundry room. Why well, we didn't Ben do that? Oh, we'll get him for you, Sheriff. The suspect is unarmed. All right? Bro, why are you so... Come on, hey, this way. This way. This oh, way. my gosh. Rape! If I was Rafe, I would be keeping it quiet, shut. Gotta protect the homeland. Hell yeah. You literally are the murderer. You're literally the murderer. This man has literally convinced himself that John B is the one who killed the sheriff. Hey, do not let him get far, all right? Let's go. Why is, uh, why is Rafe leading the mob? If I was Rafe, I would be in my room, not making a peep. Bro, like, why are you out here as if you weren't the one who actually, you wasn't the one who actually killed the lady? Make it make sense, because it's not making sense to me as why, as to why Rafe is out here. Topper, I don't hear nothing from you, because between you and Rafe, I don't know who's worse. Yes, I do. It's Rafe. And then the black boy, Kels, he finally got a name. Rafe is really giving Jason from Stranger Things. Jason literally made my blood boil, just like Rafe, just like Topper. What are you doing here, Top? Oh, hey. Let me, I just need to talk to Sarah. Topper, you need a better storyline. You're crazy over this girl. She doesn't want you. Get over it. Move on with your life. Find someone better. He's innocent. Then who did it, Sarah? Hmm? Rafe. Rafe. Why would I say that my own brother did it? And was trying to arrest my father, and then Rafe shot her. What you, what you gotta say now? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Why is Rafe here? Arrest him. 
<laughs> arrest him. And you know Rafe wanted to find John as soon as possible. That way he can get off the hook. Let's smoke him out then. Yeah. Kels, this is who you hang around? Rafe is on. Hinged. Who does this to people? I doesn't love you like I do, okay? And I can, I can prove it. At this point, the kooks have too many problems. Y'all shouldn't have this much problems. Y'all shouldn't have these many problems running through y'all circle. I can see if one of y'all are a little out of there, maybe even two. But the entire neighborhood of kooks? It's Topper. Topper? Oh Topper. my gosh. Put the guns down, man. They made Topper go out there? Or did Topper decide to do this? What went down? What went down? Because these two were able to escape. <laughs> Last conversation we had, Topper was like, this is what love is. So is he trying to show, show Sarah that he loves her? If that's the case, then Topper, I, I really wish that you were doing this because you came to your senses. Not because of Sarah, but whatever. I, I was hoping that Topper gets some type of redemption. I'm not saying this is it. Because I don't know why he did this. It wasn't to help John B. If it, anything, it was to help Sarah. But I just don't see it for Rafe. Unless he goes to rehab and really thinks about his decisions. He needs to get some therapy. Get some type of a, some type of help. I can't see him no differently. Like, I don't even care that he wants the approval of his dad. Like, I didn't see his dad treat him no type of way that he didn't deserve to be treated in the moment. You was trying to steal money from him, okay? So he did whatever. He didn't even do anything. He went and paid the guy off. And then he kicked you out because all you do is steal and do drugs. Any parent will kick their grown son out who does that. I don't see what the problem is with Wit Rafe so badly to understand why he acts like this. You want the approval of your dad, but <sighs> whatever. Maybe it's that mixed with the cocaine. I don't know. Whatever, let's get into the last episode because this episode had me hot. So, find them before they do? Hope, oh, I'm gonna get gas for the boat. Hey, you be careful. Meet me at the dock at three. Don't be late. <laughs> Pope, he's so mad at her. You can't get mad because you got rejected. Okay, what is your problem? No problem, officer. I'm just. Can you leave that boy alone? Like, dang. Look, I didn't mean to. Sorry, I can't read you. What he obviously doesn't want to talk. Can y'all ever get on my nerves sometimes? Like, girl. <laughs> like, girl. Why'd you have to follow that man? He clearly doesn't. He's not in the mood. Pope can't. I mean, he could be mad that he got rejected. But, like, come on, Pope. You put yourself out there. Sometimes you get rejected. But also, let that man deal with it how he want to deal with it. Like, why you have to follow him and try to force him to talk? I don't like people who try to force someone to talk when they're clearly not in the mood. Special Agent Bratcher, SBI. Sorry to hear about Sheriff Peterson. It really takes all this just to find a murderer. We have a homicidal individual on the loose and the entire island population is at risk until he's apprehended. Did y'all even get confirmation that it was him? Y'all just let people accuse someone of murder? I don't understand. This is all of this. This is my fault. Rape is falling apart. Uh, okay? Yeah, I know. Yep. All this is your fault. So take the blame for your son. Rose, I bear responsibility. Oh. For all of it. Rose is annoying. Stop trying to defend this man. Can he uh take accountability? I don't like anyone in his family except for Sarah. Did I say a word? Huh? I said I'd mess you up. I warned you. He's falling apart, but for what? Someone's gonna stop Sarah before she has a chance to say anything. Either rape or the dad. Stop. I was on the tarmac with Sheriff Peter and I know what happened. I was there. There you are. Oh my god. I knew it. I knew it, bro. Let these people do their jobs. I'm very sorry. I need Sarah to come correct. She's coming like a crazy person. Who's gonna believe you when you're all flustered like this? Who did it then? Who killed Sheriff Peterkin? <laughs> he said it. My daughter's falling apart right here. She was just diagnosed as bipolar. Lies just flow through his blood vessels. He shows up. And if he's good at his job, he's not gonna take anything anyone says as just the full truth. I'm just gonna talk to him first. Thank you. Right! What I say, bitch, I'm out! I'm out, bitch! Get out of here, man! Get out of my room! What's he doing? Going through withdrawal? You do not need no more. What you need is a sobriety home. Have you ever done something that you never thought you would? Like, 
What you doing, country club? Were you late to a tea time? Uh, <laughs> there's no way out of this, bro. Don't be coming on my porch saying there ain't no way out. I'm gonna tell you right now there's a way out, all right? I got a problem right now. I got a damn big problem right now. You see me in my damn room crying about that shit? Unless I get to him first. Oh I want my that goodness. Board and I want my money. So what you say we go get him? I was about to, for a very split second, start feeling sorry for Rafe when he started crying. But then, he started getting terrible advice from the drug head. Which means that anything, any lesson he was about to learn just went out the window. Oh, you a man now, huh? I'm walking out of here with these damn cans. You're not getting in my way. Oh, I'm getting in your way. Ooh. And one day, you might be able to whoop my ass. But not today. today. Come on, yeah. Pope. Really, Pope? <laughs> for what? Why are you hitting your dad, sir? All you this for me? what? Your dad ain't never done, okay. Your dad's never done anything to deserve that. Already have. Your dad's never done anything to deserve that. All he's done was look out for you, try to make sure you stay on the right track. He's never done anything to deserve you getting ready to like fight him for what? I don't like that. Mom, Kiara, you're gonna get yourself shot. Oh, I am not letting you do this. Mom, John, Kiara, you need to me. You stop right now. Sorry. Right now, Kiara, this is not safe. Their parents are worried. It's the fact that they have all these secrets, and that's what the problem's coming in. Kiara handled that better than Pope handled it. Just walk away. Well, he can't forcibly keep you there. I mean, he could, but like, not like really. You're back. School out already? What? 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 You did. <laughs> Sorry, you can tell me. Does he have Alzheimer's or something? I hate his school too. That's my boy. Is he bipolar? You're a good boy. Mm -hmm. I love you, son. That's great. Can I have the keys to the Phantom? Since you're nice and lovey dovey right today. Come on. Yes. I didn't do it. Okay. He's trying to get I'm the listening. car to start. Okay, even if he didn't kill the person, you literally stole a car. You stole a cop car. That's illegal. Even if anything else wasn't. Pope, finally. That's not Pope. Because I want my motherfucking money. JJ, JJ, Frank. What I'm here for, ain't it? It's not you. Well, I don't know how you're gonna get it because I spent it. So, what do you want? <laughs> I don't know. Period, Pope. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad Pope popped up, bro. I don't like the way he ended things with his dad, but I'm glad he popped up. No, he deserves that. He beat that man with a golf club. Okay, Pope is losing it. Now Pope's losing it. Now Pope's losing it. We don't. You, you lost a scholarship. We are only 16. You still have your full life ahead of you. You don't need to murder anybody yet. I mean, now ever, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Stay off the cut. Oh. Rafe deserved that. Rafe, Rafe needed that. I'm glad Pope was the one to give it to him. Hey, hey. I'm sorry for this sucks. basically throwing us off a cliff with this old treasure hunt thing. This literally sucks for him. This episode is an emotional roller coaster. Not even episode. This like later half of the season is just like an emotional roller coaster. One point you're mad, next point you're sad. Honestly, it's just sad and mad. <laughs> no other emotion. Sheriff Peterkin, huh? Better than I thought, country club. I own you now. Do I feel bad? Nope. Ah! You dig your own grave. Don't kiss. Why are we kissing? Wait. Ah! Can we go? Eyes on all coastal access points, people. Let's get this guy. All this for John B. Be the lights. Oh, the lights are on. Yay. Not for y'all, though. Dang, bro. <laughs> I was kind of hoping they get caught because, like, I want to resolve this. I want to resolve this entire zombie situation this season. You gotta go south, sir. Into the storm? Yes, into the storm. Hold your position, Captain. Roger that. I got one more card. I think we can play. John B. I know you were there, son. I know you can hear me. What is Warwick gonna do? Warwick Cameron, do you hear me? Yes. Yes, son, I'm right here. Don't call me son. Admit it. You killed my father. Right. Admit that he you killed my father. For a murder I didn't commit. Admit that and I'll turn the boat around. I'm coming. For you. Look, 
Look, I'd rather die than go to jail, Sarah. I'd rather die than be without you. Okay. That's a little bit extra, a bit much, but I guess they're high schoolers. Kids out there, don't stop looking. Understood. We're gonna need to talk to you. Right. Ooh. Wow, bro. I just don't feel like this is the right way to handle this situation. Did you find them? No. So they got away. Or they died out there. We lost them. What do you mean you lost them? Like, like they're gone? What are you talking about? You drove them straight through the store, man. Are you kidding me? Come here, man. Right, bro. They're kids. I'm saying, like, I don't think this is the proper way to go about this. They're, they're literally kids. Like, why would you send an entire police force after them like this? I don't know. I just feel like it was a bit much. All you did was scare that man into running. He's scared, bro. He thought that, you know, he was going to get arrested for something he didn't even do. And you just took that idiot's word for it and sent an entire force after him. And don't look sad. Do not look sad. This is literally your fault. Yeah, I'm going to find that kid. kid. They can't hear y'all. Sir, do not drop that goat. Yay, they heard us. I mean, they saw us. I was younger than love once. <laughs> that damn disaster. Sir, we need a life story. Where'd you say you were going again? Nassau. Is that where they were going? The Bahamas. Oh, th don't cool. they have the Bahama house? Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, that was intense. I was really hoping that we solve the little is John B the murderer thing this season. It's going into season two, I guess. Let's just go down a list of characters. John B, I just feel so bad for him. <laughs> Since the first episode, he's been having hope that his father's still out there. We know that his father's not. We know what happened to him. And now he's dealing with this nonsense. I like John B. He's cool. Sarah, I like Sarah. She's cool. I don't like that she was a little cheater <laughs> when it came to Topper. But in that... I mean, she's cool. She's, I don't got a problem with her. Kiara gets on my nerves sometimes. She really gets on my nerves sometimes. It's like, I don't know. I don't really know what to say. Like, she's a cool person at times, but like sometimes she's annoying. Speaking of the Sarah thing, do I feel like that was a good enough reason Sarah didn't invite you to her birthday party? No, it just doesn't line up with what she was mad about. She was like, Kiara was like, whatever we have, she's gonna try to take. What does that have to do with her not inviting you to her a birthday party? <laughs> I don't get it, but okay. Whatever, I thought there'd be something different there. I like Pope. I like, I get, I have like a base level like for every character. They're all cool, except for the Coops. Like every, all the Pogues plus Sarah, they're cool. They're cool people. I like JJ. I like Pope. I don't feel like him and Kiara should have kissed. Was the moment calling for it i don't know and when it comes to daddy issues i can i support jj like i feel more sympathy and empathy for jj than i do rafe it doesn't i don't care how much you want your father's approval your actions don't show that bro like he's just spiraling he's spiraling and it's just not helping his case for me topper and Nisa, i hope topper has a better storyline next season because because i feel like he has really he has a really good chance for redemption he did the little thing where he allowed john and sarah to get away whatever that's that, that's a step in the right direction i feel like he has a lot of character development that could be explored honestly predictions for next season i feel like ward's gonna take the fall for rafe that way rafe doesn't have to spend his life in prison because i <laughs> i was feeling bad when rafe when i really thought that rafe was coming to terms with what he did. And I felt like, you know, he was actually having some remorse and actually feeling bad that he killed somebody. But he keeps going down the wrong path. It's like, yeah, he came to that realization, but then he still went and did something stupid. But yeah, I hope this is not a show where like, we're gonna be trying to do the same thing each season. I don't wanna be chasing after the gold <laughs> next season. What else is in store? Yeah, I'm not sure where the show is gonna go, but you know, we'll see, I guess, maybe. But it was a good, solid first season. I gave it like an 8 out of 10. It was cool. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do not forget to like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. The full reaction are on Patreon. It's really here, Jay. Bye.